How does a solar bidirectional net generation meter work with battery storage? Solar panels are connect in parallel with the DC coupled battery to the inverter. The power generated from the solar panels will be stored in the battery storage until the power is required by the house or the battery is full. Power will then flow from the battery and solar panels to the inverter where it is changed from DC power to AC power. This AC power can now be used in your home or be exported to the grid. Once it leaves the inverter, the power will pass through a bi-directional net generation meter. The meter clock up the kilowatt hours that the solar panels have generated. Some of the solar power may still be stored in the battery. If the solar panels make 10 kilowatt of power, this will all goes to the battery until you are ready to use it. Let's now say the house wants to use 5 kilowatt hours of power. This will pass through the inverter and then through the bi-directional net generation meter and register 5 kilowatt hours on the digital screen. Now let's say you import 5 kilowatt of electricity from the grid at a cheap rate to store in the battery for use later. This power will pass through the bi-directional net generation meter where it now clocks down the number of kilowatt hours from the digital display leaving the new reading as 0 kilowatt hours. However, we now have 10 kilowatt hours in the battery, which is the same amount as the solar panels generated originally. The bi-directional net generation meter works by subtracting the import from the inverter generation, leaving you with a net figure, which is the solar panel generation only.